When I first started using soft pastels, I realised all my paintings looked a bit flat, with my biggest issue being that I didn't have enough dark soft pastels. And when I tried to find information on good dark soft pastels, I couldn't really find a lot, which is why I'm making this video. If you buy a starter set, you are lucky to get a few good dark soft pastels. Most of them are all mid-value, bright or light coloured soft pastels. But you need those darker soft pastels to make sure your painting has a good range of value all the way from the lightest to darkest values. By having a good value range, it helps you create the illusion of depth and three-dimensionality, and it can be used to create a focal point as our eyes are drawn to light elements on dark. If you want to look at something with a little bit more information on how value is used in paintings, this book is really handy, called Art Fundamentals by 3D Total Publishing. It has a section on light and colour and a really good section on value with the value scale and how value can be used with variance, which is the difference between the lightest and darkest values to create really striking images. And this book is mostly digital art, but it can 100% be applied to traditional mediums because I don't do any digital painting whatsoever, but everything in here is really useful. So how does this all apply to soft pastel painting? Well, it can be really tricky getting the right values without the right pastel sticks. You can use black pastel sort of as your underpainting and then go over with other colours, but if you're not careful, this can end up looking really muddy. You can mix and blend the colours on the paper unintentionally this way, rather than letting your strokes sit side by side if that makes sense and then you get this muddy look and if you're layering lots of colors on top of each other and unintentionally blending some of them you can really lose that vibrancy that makes soft pastel so special so it's really handy to have some darker soft pastels to limit your reliance on black pastel and just make life a little bit easier for you when you're painting let's have a look at a few different brands options for dark soft pastels This is the Dark Colours Soft Pastel Set by Rembrandt. It's priced at £29, so that works out as £1.90 per stick. In the numbering, if a colour is numbered 0.2 or 0.3 on the end, it has black mixed in, so it will be a darker soft pastel. These pastels are harder than both the Schmincke and Mount Vision soft pastel sets we're going to look at. I would call them a medium hardness. The oddest thing about these pastels is the colour names honestly. The colours don't really match up to what you would think of as that colour. For example, yellow ochre is very green looking and orange is not exactly very orange. But to be honest, of all of the sets I have, I would say that this one has the best range of dark colours. They're also not too dusty, which is nice. This set is by the Mount Vision Pastel Company and this is the dark set. This set, like the Rembrandt set, has 15 dark soft pastels. It is priced at £70 on Jackson's Art, making it £4.66 for each stick. I bought these for my birthday when they were priced at £50, so I think they're on sale, which makes them £3.33 a stick for that price. I honestly think a £70 price tag is a bit steep, but they are a handmade soft pastel and they are imported from the old US of A across the pond. One thing that's pretty nice is the Mount Vision website actually has a section where it shows you all of their colours by value. However, personally, I won't be buying this brand again as I'm in the UK and there are plenty of good cheaper options available by European brands. These darks as well, they aren't really as dark as the Rembrandts. They're still quite bright, particularly colours like the reds and the brown shades. They do feel very nice to use though. If I categorise the Rembrandts as a medium hardness, I would categorise these as a soft hardness. However, they are a bit more scratchy than the Schmincke, which I'm about to show you now. These are a few dark colours I've taken out of my selection of Schmincke soft pastels. The majority of my soft pastels are Schmincke. They are really high quality with bucket loads of pigment in them. They've got minimal binding agent and there's no chalk or additives. Due to the way they are made, a lot of their production is by hand, so these aren't cheap soft pastels either. Recommended retail price is £4.58 per stick, but Jackson sells them at £3.90 a stick. You can sometimes get them on eBay about 
Yogi Panda stick. I was lucky and I got mine when an art store was closing down, so they cost me between 50p and £1 a stick. There are 40 colours in the range and they come in five different values of each, so with either white or black added. So that's a total of 400 soft pastels. The problem is though, I found that they isn't actually the greatest choice of dark soft pastels. The darkest all labelled B for black, but a lot of their darks are actually still brighter than some of the other brands that I have tried. For example, they're a lot brighter than both the Mount Vision and the Rembrandt, but that might be because there's a lot more pure pigment in there, so naturally they're going to be more vibrant. Overall, I would classify these as a very soft, soft pastel. I really love using them. They're really creamy and buttery. They're just, they're really nice to use. Some of them are a little bit more scratchy. Some of the sort of blues can be quite scratchy, but overall, they're just a joy to work with. Let's take a look at the Conte or Paris soft pastels. These are a very hard soft pastel. They are basically not dusty at all compared to the others and they it's very hard to break them although I do snap them in two. They are now made round rather than square but I personally prefer the squares because I use them more for sketching and that kind of thing. I have a lot of these scattered in my sets and I also have a big full set that I've shown you here that I won on eBay um, when my eldest was only a few months old and I was trying to keep myself awake breastfeeding in the middle of the night. I would uh, I would browse eBay and uh, it's a bit of a mistake, I tell you, because at like four in the morning, you're not really thinking that that well. But um, yeah, this was one of my better purchases. It's really nice. It's got a good range of dark colours, but it is nowhere near as dark as any of the other brands. You can see all of the darkest colours are still very vibrant. And now on to Unison. These are handmade in the UK and are pure pigment with very little binder, similar to Schmincke. I would also say they are a very soft, soft pastel as well, just like Schmincke. I have the contrast set, which is four dark colours and four light colours. This set is priced at £41, which is £5.12 per stick, our most expensive sticks yet. I mean, this set is an interesting idea. But I'll be honest, the darks are a bit disappointing. Yes, they are dark, but they are all very black, except for maybe the last one, which is visibly a lot more bluey. I really love the light pastel shades, but I don't really think these eight colours are worth that amount of money. So if I was going to buy just one of these sets, I would buy the Rembrandt set. I just like the selection of colours the best. I like how they go down on the page. They are really, truly dark versions of the colours. So dark yellows, dark greens, dark blues, dark reds, rather than a lot of the other brands that are still quite mid value range, even though they're in a dark set. Thank you so much for watching and you will see me in the next one. Is that blurry? Why is it blurry?